Hi, hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another time here in the upper room. Uh, it's a home day. That's what we call Wednesday because it's that time you get to the top of the weekend. You're getting ready to climb down for the weekend. So kind of like to celebrate it because we've gone through the week um, successfully, <laughs> victoriously. And uh, I think that we've achieved the things that needed to be achieved, you know, will lead to a good life. And uh, we come and head into towards the weekend. So welcome. We've been sharing in the topic, the ritual men at Shunem. That's what we try to prepare so our hearts with as we go into the place of prayer. Yesterday, we re-emphasized the fact that coming from the uh, ritual men at Shunem, we can begin to see the, our placing as kings and sons. Um, and hopefully we can learn from that so that we can become strong and we can do exploits. One of the first things we said earlier on was the fact that uh, the lion does not lead alone. The lion is not a loner. He's not, um, a lion lives in a pride, in a family, in a community. Typically, one lion is the head of that community, and you have lionesses. Typically, you don't have more than one lion, at least not one key lion. You can have cubs, but when a lion is fully grown, it goes and starts his own community. But you can have lionesses, but not more than one key lion in a pride. You know, as against a tiger, the tiger is a loner. The tiger leads a loner in community, you know, and one thing that we can learn from a lion, God has not called us to be loners. We're part of the body of Christ. None of us can make it on our own, right? So everything concerning our journey, our pilgrimage, we, we need one another, not to be servants of one another, but to willfully submit ourselves to be blessed by one another. If all you do is that is to bless everybody, you are not complete. If all you do is to receive from everybody, you are not complete. Life is give and receive, right? We talked about the continuum of life earlier on. We start as dependent. All we are doing is receiving. We get to the place of independent, meaning that we, we, we are sufficient of ourselves. Right, we are so dependent, we are receiving independent, we are sufficient of ourselves, we are more like givers. But that those two are not the place of maturity. The place of maturity is the place of interdependent, where I bless and I submit myself to receive also. Right? It has to be give and take for us to be mature and to get the fullness of what God wants for us in life. So if you're in a place where all you are doing is giving, you are not leaving, you are dead. You are living dead. If you're in a place where all you are doing is receiving, you are not alive. You are dead also. You are a parasite. Right? Life is found in a place where I give of my strength and I receive from other people's strength to help my weakness. Right? If I am I am not strong in every area, I need someone else to nurture the areas in which I am weak. That's when I can become fully, I can, I can live my life at the fullest measure, right? As I'm also giving them of my strength. And that is what is required in marriage. A lot of marriages are not working today because you have people that are independent going into marriage. An independent status is a captain status. You can't have two captains in a ship, right? You can't even have one in, in, in that sense. You need two complete people to make a marriage. It's not two half people. It's two people who are independent but submit themselves to one another to live together, to give and receive, right? They have to submit themselves to an equal relationship. It's not that I'm bigger than you, I'm smaller than you. And that affects every one of our relationships. So when I relate to my children, I don't even relate to them as they are smaller. I talk to them as if we're equal. Right now, we, talk, we relate to them as if we're equal because that's the only way we can fully invest into their lives to help them fulfill the fulfill their own their own uh, destiny if all we're doing is talking down to them they always feel themselves little 
we need to we need to um, help them to um, what's that word now to affirm the blessings, the giftings of God in their lives. And we need to do that for one another, right? So we'll continue after.